Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video I'm going to talk about something that a lot of you guys have been asking me about and it's something like why do we still need to hire developers when there is uh, things like WordPress or Wix that uh, we can build a website in a matter of seconds you know a lot of you guys you are concerned like oh tell me now I'm, I'm like studying web development or something like trying to get a job but I feel like with all these things now WordPress Wix and uh, Squarespace or whatever you know why would people they what they hire me to build a website if they can just build it like this you know or uh, so <laughs> First of all, let me just say this, that there is still a lot of people out there that they are not, uh, let's say, tech savvy, you know, that uh, it's still it, <laughs> the computers and building, dealing with computers and everything, there is still a lot of people out there that they feel like, oh my god, I'm, I'm not a computer person, I, I can't uh, mess around with this, I'm not a tech person or how they say. <laughs> So there is still so many people, if you ask your friends or there is still so many people out there that they are still not comfortable using a, a computer and uh, building a website uh, much less, you know. So there is, first of all, there is this, this, uh, this point, you know, that um, many people, they, they still don't feel comfortable even to write some Word documents, right? I, mean, I meet so many people. <laughs> Especially at my, my workplace, there is some people that they think that we are just doing magic on the computer or, or whatever. So yeah, this is a point number one. Point number two is a lot of people, they just don't have the time to build a, to build a website. That's why they hire a developer or, or someone else to build a website for them, you know, uh, because um, they, they just have a lot of different kinds of work, you know, and they just don't have like the time to do that by themselves or, or when they try, because most, I, I hear, I hear this by a lot of people, something like this. Um, oh, building a website is so easy, I can just go to WordPress and, and build a website and stuff. They are going in there, you know, they just starting looking around into the, into this content manager system. And even though it's easy once you are familiarized with it, but once you get there by the first time, you're just like completely lost. You know, you see this interface and it's just hard, you know, to, to get your way around when you are starting out. So some people are saying, oh, I'm going to build this by myself. I don't need to pay anything. And then they get in there and they are just starting to build and they realize, wow, I'm just losing so much time in here. I don't know what am I doing. I need to hire someone, a professional who can do this for me because I'm doing this for a business or something or, a, you know, even if it's like for a hobby, let's say, you are, you are doing this and you can't because you are just like losing time and these kind of things takes time, you know. That's why if you are hiring a professional developer, you are getting something that it really works and it looks great. Not, not something like, like kind of amateur or whatever. So yeah, this is like a point number two, guys. Uh, that's one of the reasons why people, they still need developers. And um, the third and last point that I want to mention is Whenever someone is building is building a website with uh, with something like Wix uh, or um, or I, I never used Wix, but I I heard that Wix is even worse than WordPress because with Wix you can just like drag and, and drop things. You can't really build something with a database on it. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I don't know if I'm saying correctly or not, but because I never tried Wix, but I heard about this so. Probably Wix is like the worst thing that you can do. It's just like you can just drag and drop things and you can't really like um, build something that you want. If, for example, with WordPress, let's say, if you guys watch my um, one of these uh, tutorials that I was doing in uh, JavaScript, um, you notice that I was building like some kind of a content managed system, you know, like this application. If you go back to the to this last JavaScript tutorial I did, to the part one, you can see that I built some kind of a square, like a, a div, where you can update like the text, uh, the colors and the, everything on the page. And uh, 
basically these kind of options that you have set up um, they are they are done by a developer you know and the things that you can change on the on the page they are limited you know you can't just like oh I want to if there is no options for that for example let's say that uh, you want to um, increase the image size that you have on the on the page you know and um, in your content management system like WordPress or something you don't have the option for it you need a developer to go and put that option for you a developer can go and build whatever you want that's one of the main reasons why developers you, you still because developers they build the themes the, the actual WordPress websites that you can go after on the on the back end and just change the things and update it as you want you know because it's not just like uh, by magic that these kind of things show up that, that's why you know so, some when I hear people saying around wow why why should people still hire developers when we have WordPress and Wix and all these kind of things yeah you, you can build a website but it's pretty much limited you know you don't have like uh, full possibilities like if you are if you have a developer writing a, a website for you from the ground up like whatever you have in mind a developer can go and put it in there for you so uh, yeah and and even there is a lot of people out there saying that oh my god with the with the um, machine learning and the artificial intelligence in the future th th <laughs> there was even a guy a guy um, a guy uh, named David Connolly. I don't know if you guys know him. I think he's Scottish or something. He has a YouTube channel in here um, where, where he talks about like, oh, in the future, <laughs> I predict that uh, someone is gonna say like something like this. Alexa, build me a, we a website. I mean, it, it could be possible, but I think we are still so far away from it that uh, we are in no risk at the moment for uh, for being like replaced by something like this because developers we are still like the brain that thinks you know and that we can actually do whatever we are asked to so um, yeah <laughs> I I, th I think that's it guys I I, I think I really um, pointed my my opinion in this is just like 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 I said the point number one there is still a lot of people out there they are not tech savvy they, they are still afraid of touching on computers or something they they think that someone who is touching on a computer is doing some kind of magic and then you have like people that they don't have the time you know they are too too busy or whatever and they say oh this is so easy I can do it myself or or, or my my neighbor can do it for for ten dollars and, and then in reality when they ask someone they will just have like a, a crap website you know and then obviously the third point like I was mentioning is um, if you are building a website in some kind of uh, content managed system like WordPress or Wix you are limited to the options that they give you if you want to to actually build a website with precisely what you want probably you will have to hire a developer so uh, you can put all the features and options that you want in there and yeah I, I, I guess that's it for uh, for this video guys I really hope you understand how important developers are and developers are in a huge demand right now because every business out there they need a website even people who are starting out like their business or, or a YouTube channel or a blog or whatever people they need websites everywhere if you are a DJ if you are working in real estate if you are drawing like an artist you need a website for your um, for your work everyone nowadays need a website that's why there is such a huge demand for developers so there is no risk at the moment that you guys think that uh, wow there is not going to be enough uh, jobs right now there is more demand than developers believe me especially in here in uk and i see and i see it as well in the us so uh, yeah i i, I really now i think I, it's really that's it for this video guys uh, I really hope you like this video if you have some other questions that you would like me to answer just let me know in the comments down below I try to read all of your comments and I reply all the time and if you give me any idea for a video I will just mention you as well and that's it guys 
Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll see you in the next video.